got a Discovery 4 2016. Uh, with the Discovery 4, there's no tie down point in the middle of the car. So the best way I've come up with is this small brackets from Bunnings. Um, and I'll show you what I'm gonna do. So basically, we've got these two angle brackets. The idea being we'll put both of these together. We'll use an eyelet, run it through the center of these in here. And with these eyelets, I'll be able to put them in between the two seats, which I'll show you shortly. And that will give us a good center tie down point, um, which will then enable us to have it tied down on the left and also in the middle to give it plenty of support. So in the Discovery, you've only got these tie down points here, which are great, no problems. And they're one there, one there, and two over this side as well. But there's nothing in the middle. So the idea is we'll put these two brackets together. They're only cheap. And we will put this eyelet through here. And we're going to insert that on the inside down this hole here. And when you lock the seats in place, it will actually give you a tight end point in the center so you can slide your fridge through in here. So I'll show you what I'm going to do. Now see here on the back of the Discovery 7th seats, um, we've got a bit of a lip here. Now the idea is that we're actually going to place this lip and have this bracket, if you can see that properly, sitting in here and when we close the seat down it's actually going to sit up and we'll be able to anchor onto our loop or our eyelet which will sit proud in the floor and then we'll have tie down points on both the left and the center which will give us a bit better support for the fridge or anything else that you happen to tie down the back when forward driving all right so we'll take this eyelet and we'll feed it through and just an m10 nylock nut and we'll pop that on here which will give us tighten that up a bit later and give us a tie down point there and all these things are just from bunnings nothing too fancy you can potentially put it on either side if you wanted to to have a tie down point for each side um, I'm not sure I might do it that way actually so we might actually put one on each side I don't think I need two on the one side just uh, I'm going to show you what we're up to okay I'm just going to get a set and we'll um, tighten those up just uh, tighten these up So that <clears throat> is what we're left with. Now hopefully, if all goes to plan, this should just slot in between the two seats. We can close it down and we'll have a tie point. Alright, excuse the mess. We're actually using it as a full drive. Um, so, here we go. In theory, oh, I wonder how this is going to work. Hmm. But if we put one down like that, <clears throat> so with every attempt, every invention, <laughs> um, I can't get this between the two seats with both of the eyelets on it. So I think what I'll do is just use the one, which is all I need at the moment. And I think if you needed a second one, you could actually fit it when it's actually in place and then when you want to take it out you just undo one of the bolts so one of the nuts i should say but uh let's have a take two all right take two we've removed one of these um eyelets i think hopefully we should be able to fit this in now 
Give it a whack. Put this one in here, like that. And then hopefully it will shut. All right, there we have it. So now that's sitting in there. Um, I'll just go on the other side and show you where it sits. If you get the right brackets, it shouldn't touch. And again, I say shouldn't, so do it if you want to. It shouldn't touch the leather seats. Um, I'll just give you a look. So here's from the other side. So you can see there, it, it's very close, but it doesn't actually touch the leather seats and it locates in between the fittings onto that steel bracket, bracket backing, I suppose you'd say. And those steel brackets fit onto the the back of the seventh seats. Um, I'm assuming it's a steel base, or it's quite firm anyway, so hopefully um, all will go well. I'll just show you the other side. All right, at this point, we can lower the seats, um, and then if we wanted to, we could actually put in the other eyelet in here, and then we can fit that down and uh, push it through and thread that one on so we can have an eyelet on each side. Remembering if you want to take it out, we're going to have to take this one off again, and then we can free up um, the bracket. All right, so hopefully, let's push these down together. One down, two down, there we go. Now that is absolutely rock solid. It's not going anywhere. So now what we've done is we've given ourselves the opportunity to be able to loop from this eyelet, the factory eyelet, through to the little homemade eyelet, and over to the other factory eyelet. So when we insert the fridge in later, we'll be able to tie it, fix it to the car, and then also just have something in the middle there to support it when we're four-wheel driving that we don't end up rocking the, uh, the fridge over. So yeah. And again, as I said, we could actually put the other eyelet in here if we wanted to, like that. And we can bolt that down as well. So we can have one on each side. So I might do that while I'm here. Just gonna try and tighten up this other bracket. Not to be crazy tight. So there we have it, a couple of eyelets. In the middle and all done very cheaply and fairly easily all right we've also just bought the new cfx 45 dometic fridge um good size really really good setup all the areas are actually fridges unlike the older model which the back where the compressor was was um just almost like a four degree warmer area so that's that's good um so i'm gonna put some brackets on oh, the brackets put the straps on now and just show you hopefully that it all works well and it's strapped down on both sides now again uh, i've just bought these from a local hardware retailer like bunnings for example might have 10 whatever um just those cam buckles they're only a few dollars each i think so we'll try and work out a way to do it and show you how we can tie this down and hopefully um be right to go forward driving okay here we go so we've looked it up through here. I found it on the return trip. It's better to go back up through the handle again. It just stops the strap from running under here. And yeah, just back onto the eyelet there. It's only the front, that's only this front one to us at the moment. But you can see there it's, okay. Very happy with this. It's all worked out beautifully. Smaller strap on this side. I had to use a slightly larger one, a three meter on the other side. But this fridge is, not going anywhere. Just show you around the other side of the car. That's the other side there, tied down to the rear, and then over to our new bracket. So, overall, very happy with that. Just the last piece, it's the new Nomad PDU 100 amp hour 
lithium battery with version 5 so we'll have that in there as well as a bit of a temporary measure as I have to be able to use the 6 and 7 seats um, during the week and when I'm at full driving I can use this and then take it out and put it back to the ability to have both seats so that's good